This is a Rutke Mods video. Hello, I'm Greg Rutke of Rutke Mods, and welcome to episode 18 of my Mac Pro series. This is part two of two of this short series on how to update your Mac Pro 1,1 to a 2,1 by flashing the EFI and the SMC. In this episode, we will be covering how to flash your SMC. If you have not watched episode 17 yet, I would suggest you watch that first and then come back to this video. The SMC controls the fan curve of the Mac Pro. The uh, Mac Pro 1,1 fan curves were designed for the quad core setup, which was two dual core CPUs which used literally half the TDP. The higher the TDP, the hotter the CPUs run. The quad cores, if you have upgraded your Mac Pro 1,1 to an eight core system, aka two quad core CPUs, they run at twice the TDP, which means they run much hotter. And the original SMC, the 1,1 1, 1 SMC is designed for those dual cores and not the quad cores, which means the system will not be able to efficiently cool. Now, before we continue, I would like to warn you, if you want your Mac itself to control the fan curve, you need to update your SMC. And if you follow my instructions precisely, you will more than likely have no issues at all, but I will not be responsible for any damage you cause to your own system. You can also control your fan curves with a program like SMC Fan Control or Max Fan Control, which I use. So before we begin everything, we need a few things first. We need certain files and we need a flash drive flashed in fat file format. So let's first get the files that we will need to do this. Now there is two different ways to do an SMC flash. One that's hard and one that's easy. I will be showing you the easy way but you can also do it the hard way which is what this original tutorial was based off of. You needed to download a SMC updater from Apple's website and then open it up and pull files out and then hex edit the files. Hex editing isn't that easy for most people. And so I managed to find the files already done online and they're 100% safe. They come from Netcus. If you'd like to do the hex editing way, I will leave a link to that in the description down at the bottom. Also, if you want to downgrade your SMC, which I don't know why you will want to, but if you want to, you need to also use a hex editor to allow the flashing to occur. That all aside, let's download the files. We will first want to go to the Natka's forum, to this link right here, which I'll leave in the description. And the topic was help SMC firmware upgrade, etc., etc. We'll want to scroll down to Bunga Bunga's post and download these two files right here. We'll download them. And once they're downloaded, we will want to take these two files and we will want to pull them onto our flash drive. Now with the flash drive name, I would recommend having a name that is short and preferably about three letters. I named mine F's, FS1, and that's only because the way we are going to do this, you really need a short name for your flash drive. Anyway, let's continue. 
Once you've done that, we need to now download and install Refit, or R-E-F-I-T. Now this isn't supported anymore, but it will work fine on a Mac Pro. The old version is totally fine, don't worry about it not being supported, and it's easily removable after we install everything. So we will download that. It downloads. And it opens up the DMG. We will want to open up the MPKG file. Click continue, continue, agree. We will want to install it on our line disk. If I haven't mentioned before, you will want to do this on a natively supported OS just because it's it's easier and safer and you would not want to mess up your newer OS X install where your Lion's just your emergency drive and it can be okay to mess it up if you have to. This shouldn't mess it up though. We will choose our Lion drive and click continue. We'll install it, type in our password, it will install and then we will close it. Now we will need to reboot the Mac two or three times for refit to show up. And this is because it's just the way it's been made. So restart your computer a few times and eventually you'll see the refit menu show up. And I will come back after that is finished. We are now at the refit menu. At this point you will want to make sure your flash drive is plugged into your Mac and we will want to go down to the EFI shell, which is right here. We hit enter. It loads it all up. And then we start typing our command. We will want to put the name of our flash drive in and then a colon. This is my flash drive name. Yours may be different. We hit enter. And now we're on the flash drive. We will then want to enter this command in. Before we continue, I would like to say that when it starts flashing, the fans will ramp up. Do not panic. This is just a sign that is flashing. There's nothing wrong with your computer. So, let's hit enter. It starts flashing. The fans ramp up. It finishes, then you can type exit, then go back into your Lion. Now that we are booted back into Lion, we can verify our SMC, which is this right here, which is the 2,1 version. Now your Mac is 100% 2,1 spec for SMC and EFI anyway. And if you want to remove refit, it's as simple as going to your system folder, and we need to delete the EFI file right here. We pull that down, type in our password, Then we need to go to Library, Startup Items, and delete this file too, the Refit Blesser. We drop that into the trash, we type in our password, and Refit will be completely gone and it will boot up like normal again. After all is said and done, we can now go back to System Preferences change our startup disk back to our main OS. And that's it. Congratulations, you have fully upgraded your 1,1 to 2,1 spec with EFI and SMC flashing.
That's the end of this short series in the Mac Pro series. And in the next episode, episode 19, well, that will be to be determined. I still don't have much of a clue for that one yet, but there will be one, I'm sure. And from now on, we will take it as it goes. There will be episodes, but they'll be spotty and probably be in between other episodes of other series coming up. Anyway, thank you for watching, and this has been a Retke Mods video.